So in today's web dev tip, I just want to quickly show you how you can check for any problems or any output uh, that your processes using PM2 uh, will actually give you. So for example, if you do start up your app and you get a problem here saying it's errored or something, you might want to check why that is, uh, see if your uh, connection string for your database is incorrect, for example, or just see what the error is that's uh, being generated by the node app. So PM2 provides you with a logs facility uh, to check any of the output because obviously uh, when we ran our node app locally we got a bit of output to show us uh, any console.logs that we'd got in the app uh, but we didn't see anything yesterday when we actually got the app up and running so to access the logs you simply say pm2 and then logs and you can see here there's some uh, general uh, logs from the uh, PM2 service itself. But down here we've got any console.logs here. So we've got um, the uh, output that our node app gives us, just saying that we're listening and we connect into the database server. There's just some warnings there about some of the uh, commands that we're using for MongoDB. So we'll probably better look at those uh, in our API when we come around to updating it. So just to show you if we would try to uh, start up our process again. So if we were to say PM2 start, and then in our home, Rick and Roll user directory, and then in apps, we've got Rick and Roll.me, and then Rick and Roll is the app itself. So if you're just to try and start that uh, main.js file again, we should get several errors because we're not providing the environment variable and we're also trying to bind to a port that is already in use. Uh, so I'm not sure which one will come up first. So at first it looks like the API is set up okay uh, under the main name there. So if we say pm2 list, you can see now it's uh, saying it's errored. Uh, and then if we go back one last time to the logs as well, uh, we should find that uh, we've got more detailed output as to what was going on uh, with the uh, new service that we just tried to set up. So I just wanted to show you that quickly in case you run into any errors uh, and it can be really useful just to go through and uh, see what the output is for any particular errors for your uh, app if they don't start correctly. But hopefully in our example, if you've just got the connection string set up okay as an environment variable, uh, there shouldn't be any other errors and your app should get up and running. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.